Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bruno for the BTN HD. And yes, we're continuing our penetration test lab configuration and setup. Today is all about configuring the next virtual machine, which is uh, Metasploit. Uh, I think on the last video we did Kali, and, and I think the other video we did Debian. So the next one is this one. So let's get started. So uh, if you're using Hyper-V Manager, you should have already two virtual machines, and today we're creating the third one. Now the third one, which is Metasploit, uh, actually comes within a virtual machine disk format. So if you're using Hyper-V, you can't really use that because you need a VHDX or VHD uh, file to import into your Hyper-V manager. Now, if you're using, uh, I believe, VirtualBox or VMware, this file will go straight in with no problem. But for those individuals that are using Hyper-V manager, like myself, you're going to have some issues. So I will provide the link at the bottom on the video, at the description or at the comment section, so don't freak out. There is a Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter 3.0. When you click on download, it's going to give you the option. You want to pick the MSI and hit next, and you're going to download it. This file is to basically take that uh, VMware slash VirtualBox file and convert it into a VHDX or VHD so you are able to import within your Hyper-V manager environment with no problem. You're going to right click on that MSI file, click on install. You're going to get the Microsoft Virtual Machine Converter Setup Wizard. Click next here, accept the license and terms, hit next. I left it as the default, which is the C drive. Next, install, finish. Cool. Now you are able to use the utility, but I'm a very complicated person, so I like to use PowerShell. So to use PowerShell, you're going to use the following command line, which is import module, uh, C colon backslash program files, backslash Microsoft virtual machine converter, backslash, and there is a PowerShell document that allows you to use the converter to convert to, you know, uh, with a VMD to a VHD. Okay. So we're going to run that import. And the next command that we need to do is do the following. We're going to use the following commandlet, which is convert to dash MVMC virtual hard disk with a parameter of source literal path and the path of our VMDK file, right? And then we're going to use another parameter of VHD type, which is going to be a dynamic hard disk and another parameter of dash VHD format, which is going to be VHDX and the destination where we want to drop this conversion. So once you run that, it's gonna take a sweet time. You're going to see a progress bar within your Windows PowerShell IEC, because that is what I'm using. You are able to use it within a PowerShell command line, it's up to you, uh, but I like to use the IEC version, okay? If you wanna know if it's working, you will go inside your destination path. For me, it was DVMs. So when you open it up, don't freak out. It just takes some time. Just hit F5 and refresh the folder. And you're going to see your metasploit.vhdx file. Now, it will take some time because it is a big container. And eventually, once everything is completed, your PowerShell should finish. It should stop. And then you will see that the size of the container is about 2 or 3 gigs, which is pretty good. Now, you're going to go back inside your Hyper-V manager. From here, we're going to click on New, Virtual Machine. You're going to get the new Virtual Machine Wizard. Click Next here. Provide a name for your Virtual Machine. Uh, provide your virtual machine generation. I left it as the default as generation one. Provide memory. Establish your connection. And when it says create a virtual disk, we don't need to create a virtual disk because we already have a virtual disk. So we are going to pick use an existing virtual hard disk and we're going to find and locate our metasploit.vhdx, which we're converted from a, I think, VMD file to a VHDX file. Click next. Hit finish, good to go. Uh, with Hyper-V Manager, you have to double click on your virtual machine to open it up and then click on start. It's gonna start processing and then you're going to get this. Once it's loaded, you're done, then you're able to log in. They do provide you the login information, which is msfadmin and the password is also msfadmin. This is only for testing purposes. And this is another virtual machine that we completed within our pen test lab. So far we got three. Uh, we have three more that we have to do, and then we could start using Kali's tools to uh, do a little bit of hacking. How cool is that? So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget about hitting that like button. Make sure to subscribe 
and please share out the video and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.